Well, hello all good people of the world. This is Paul Whitakin returning to you today, kneeling on the floor for you, just for you, to bring you another presentation of the Universal Law of Numbers. And today we'll talk about the periodic table of everything. Okay, the periodic table <laughs> goes like this, it goes, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now you're familiar with the periodic table of elements, and this is the periodic table of numbers. However, the periodic table of elements is also the periodic table of numbers because in the periodic table of elements, it goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, those are the atomic numbers. Okay, so today's lesson, we will talk about, okay, the first thing I'll do is, I will take this one, bring this one up here. This is when we multiply the numbers to infinity, the same numbers, one squared, one, one squared, one, one, one squared to infinity, etc. And this is on the ninth sequence, which makes the nines. So it makes 999, I did that. Now I'll show you how it makes 90. Uh, but it doesn't only make 90. 89 and 1 is 90. 12 and 78 is 90. 23 and 67 is 90. 34 and 56 is 90. 45 and 45 is 90. So that's making 90. 59 and 4 is 63. That's not 90, but it's a 9. 48 and 15, 58, 5 and 8, that's 63, 92 and 70, that's 162. Well, 162, that could be 63. It could be 54. Well, 162. 6 and, and uh, 1 and 2 is 63. 37 and 26, 50, 63. And 81 and 81 is 162. That's uh, 63 as well. So we can say 63 if we like. The 9 can call itself whatever it wants. But anyway, this is how it makes that 9. 1, 6, 2. Instead of 6, 3, 1, 6, 2. Uh, 16 and 38. 48 and 6, 54. Okay, 54. It's 93 and 60, 153, 54. 71 and 82, 153, 54. 59 and 04, 63. 36 and uh, 36, 72. They're going to be nines. It's making nines. That's what we're doing. We're making nines. It's making nines. 35 and 46, 75 and 6 is 81, 81, 02 and 79 is 81, 80 and 91, 171, 1 and 7, 8, 81, 68 and 13, 78, 81, 45 and 36, 81, 69 and 3, 72, 2 and 79, 81, 47 and 25, 62, no, 72, 47 and 25, 60 and 12, 72, 91 and 80, 171, 81, 36 and 36, 72, 36 and 27, 63, 36 and 45, 81, 
74 and 52, 126. 6 and 3, 63. 94 and 50, 144. 14 and 4, that's a 9. 144 is a 9. 05 and 49, 64. Am I doing that right? 3, 1, 2, 3. 49 and 05. Oh, hmm, 54. Now it makes more sense. Okay, so that's how the universal law of numbers corrects you. 49 and 5 is 54. That's a 9. 39 and 6, 38 and 16, 48, 54. 27 and 27, 54. 27 and 36, 63. Okay, so uh, basically what I do is, since we're studying the periodic table of elements today, I do the stoichiometry. People may not understand why I do what I'm doing, but I believe that if you understand the entire system and the makeup of, makeup of all of its parts and how they function together in coordination with each other, that we get a general better understanding of, uh, uh, we get an understanding of the system by understanding the arithmetic. By understanding the arithmetic, we get a better understanding of what we call math, because that's where math comes from. What I'm doing is only math. It's not numerology, no, no, no. It's not gematria, it's not Kabbalah, it's nothing of the sort. It's basically one plus two equals three, one plus one equals two, and anybody who wants to uh, deny themselves of that or make of that what you will, but uh, I'm staying on the absolute scientific method when it comes to my work. So when we look at this thing right here, okay, we know it's a calculator, calculator but we can look for the patterns, the sequences. So we'll look for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So we'll go with 1 and 8. And I see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 7, 8, 9. I see it. Over here, I might go 9, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, I took the liberty with the 3. If I'm over here, I might go... Uh, three two zero nine eight seven six five four three two zero. We don't have the one, uh, but if you want to get liberal, I'll go zero one two three four five six seven eight nine. Zero one two three <laughs> four five six seven eight nine. Okay, because I can do that because I'm authorized. And over here, I see seven, eight, nine, zero, one, two. Okay. Uh, so anyway, we made it, we made one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Out of the ones and the eights, we'll look at the two and the fours. So I can see nine, eight, seven, six. I'm skipping my one. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay. With both sides, I have an, uh, one through nine. If I go on this side, I can go sort of 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, so there's the glitches or whatever you want to refer to them, but they're very important to take note of because that's where somehow the thing is always doing the resetting. And if we understand whatever that resetting is, I'm sure it's applicable throughout the entire system. But anyway... Uh, so nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We're getting it from the twos. On the sevens, it's basically the same thing, so we will. There's a little bit more of a struggle, but anyway, we'll go, for instance, uh, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. So take the liberty to do that. Uh, nine, zero, one, two, three, no four, but a five, six, seven, and uh, something like that. So it's in there. Uh, what I'm saying is, well, look for these patterns, look at different uh, angles of attack uh, in, the, in the big picture, and we can see uh, how things are working. 
For instance, uh, we're not going to get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9s out of the 4s and 5s. Basically, what we get out of the 4s and 5s are itself. Now, if we add 1 to this side, it'll go 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, uh, 0, 2, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 0, 1. So it's the same thing if we add 1. What if we add 1s over here? Now look at this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, if we add 1s over here, we'll get uh, 1, 5, 0, 4, 9, 3. 1, 5, 0, 4, 9, 3. It was 1, 5, 0, 4, 9, 3, 8, 2, 6. 8, 2, 7. I can go 8, 2, 6. You know, I just did it. Uh, but anyway, basically, if we're adding 1 to the side, we're going to get the same code. It's just basically readjusted uh, uh, to a different point on the dial. If we do it over here, it's going to happen the same way. Let's say start from here. 9, 3, 8, 2, 7, 1. Uh, 9, 9, 3, 8, 2, 7, 1. So it was... Nine three eight two seven one six zero four five, but it turns into a six six zero four. So it's in there, and we can see that if we do it over here. Well, let's add a one uh, to this side, and if we ignore this one right here, we're going to get this. Adding one eight goes to nine, two to three, seven to eight, one to two, six to seven, zero to one, five to six. 5 to 6 if you like. So 5, 9, 3, 8, 2, 7. 5, 9, 3, 8, 2, 7. 5, 9, 3, 8, 2, 7. Add 1, 1, 6, 0. 1, 6, 0. 1, 6, 0. As you will. So we see that relationship going on right there. Let's try and do it a little bit over here. Add 1, 7, 4, 2, 0, 7, 5. 7, 4, 2, 0, 8, 6. Not 0, 7, 5, 0, 8, 6. So there's the glitch right there. 7, 4, 2, adding 1, 0, 7, 5, but then 3, 1, 9. We get the 3, 1, 9. Okay, so that's the glitch. That's the same glitch here. We can, do, we can make the dot on the other side instead, but uh, you see that something is readjusting and we can understand it. Let's look here. 3, 1, 9, 6, 4, 2. 3, 1, 9, 6, 4, 2. Adding 1, 3, 1, 9, 6, 4, 2, 0, 7, 5. 6, 4, 2, or 6, 4, 2, 0, 8, 5. So not, not 0, 7, 5. Not zero seven five zero eight five. Okay, we can also look at things like this, and we should, in order to understand it, between these numbers, these are ones. Same thing is going on over here with eight. Between six and seven is one. Seven and eight is one. We see that. Here we're going to go uh, between zero and four. That's going to be four. Four and five is five. So four five four five four five four. Four, five. Okay, if you like. Four, four, five, four, five, four, five, four, four. Okay, fives and fours. They make nines. Let's do it on seven. Four to nine is five. Four, five, four, five, four, four, five, four. Fives and fours are nines. Three, five. So instead of four, five, that time went uh, three, five. But anyway, three, five, four, five, four, five, four, four, five. Fours and fives. Let's do four and five. Uh, eight, seven, or eight even. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, which is eight. Okay, 8, 8, 7 to 4 is 7. 8, 8, 8, 8, 7. 3 to 1 would be uh, 8. 6 to 3, 7. 3 to 1, 8. 
eight, 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 and seven. Good. Four to five should be the same general thing. Four and five is the same general thing. So we had eights and sevens. They're making sixes, but if we do three sixes, we get nines. But anyway, two to zero, eight, 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 no, seven, eight, eight, seven, eight, 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 seven, eight, four to two, uh, four to nine is five and two is seven. So eights and seven, five to 12, seven, eight, 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 seven, eight. Okay, eights and sevens, uh, you know, we did seven because two and sevens were fours and fives, so we're getting uh, nines like that. That's what it's doing, it's making nines. Now let's look, uh, basically we can even do them across between zero and one, one and two, two and three, we see that going down, 0 and 1 to 12, that's 11s. These are going down by 11s. Okay, let's do that. Uh, 4 to 48 is 44. Uh, to 92 is 44. To 37 is 45. To 81 is 44. To 26 is 45. 44, 45, 44, and 44. This is going uh, 70. 677. Okay, 77, 77. No, that's 78. 78, 77, 78, 78, 78, 78, 77. Okay, 7787, seven, uh, whatever. 77, 80, well, 78, 77, 78, 78. 77, 78, 77, 78, 77, and 46 to 124, 78. Over here, 40, no, that would be 40 to 90, that's, well, 50 to 90, that's uh, 40, 1 and 2, 43. Okay, so we're at 43, 45, 44, 45, 40. 4, 45, 44, 44, and 45. So between them, 45 and 44, it's making that 90. Uh, this is its ones and the same as the eights. Basically, it's like 11, but it's in this case goes 10, uh, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 12. Okay, so we see that. And uh, just even spaced across, okay? So uh, 0 to 4 is 4, 4 to 8 is 4, 9 to 2 is 3, 3 to 7 is 4, 4, well, 3, 4, 3, 4, 4, 3. 5, 3, 4, 5, 4, 4, 4, 4, 5, 4. Seven, well, three, two, two, three, two, 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 three, two, two, between these numbers. Five, four, well, five, three, four, three, four, three, four, four, three, four. We get the picture. There's there's a, a form and a there's a form and a structure here, and the better we understand that, then the better we, we get the big picture. And I'm going to come back to uh, basically. Okay, so the universal law of numbers it's universal. That's why I say things like it's the periodic table of numbers because I can. Uh, but it's also the solfeggio scales of. They're ancient used in music. Now, whether they're ancient or not, uh, if that's a question in your mind, I will tell you that the solfeggio squares is this. It's the universal law of numbers 369 code, and it's, in, it's as ancient as <laughs> ancient can be because it's, it's, it's the universe. It's nature. It existed even before people. So uh, same with the solfeggio uh, sequences. 
which are the 369 codes. So what are they? Well, Solfeggio sequences basically go 147 and then 285 and then uh, 396 and then 417 and then they go uh, 5 Two, eight. So how is it working? This is this is what this is. X squared to the third to the fourth to the fifth to the sixth to the seventh to the eighth to the ninth to the tenth to the eleventh to the twelfth to the thirteenth to the fourteenth. So let's see what happens. Okay, this is X squared, this line going across. X squared, X to the two, X to the three, four, five, six, seven. X to the two goes X to the two, then it goes. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 2, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 5. 2, 8, 5, it will always carry that sequence forever. 2, 8, 5. Okay? Uh, then it's going to go x to the third. x to the third, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 3, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 6, 3, 9, 6. This will always go 3, 9, 6, 3, 9, 6, 3, 9, 6 to infinity. So now we go to this one, x squared, third, fourth, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, 1, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 7, 4, 1, 7. That's the next solfeggio uh, sequence uh, in the frequency scale. 4, 1, 7. Then it's going to go here, 5. x to the fifth, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 5, 2, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 8. 5, 2, 8, 5, 2, 8 is the solfeggio, the next one in this sequence. Then it's going to go x to the 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, x to the 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, x to the third, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 9, 6, 3, 9, 6, 3, 9, then it's going to go here, x to the 7th, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 7, 4, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 1, 7, 4, 1, that's the next one in the solfeggio, 7, 4, 1 will be followed by 8, x to the 8th, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, that's 5, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, that's 2. 8, 5, 2. That's the next sequence in the Salpeggio uh, scale. Then it's going to go 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 6, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 3. 9, 6, 3, that's the next one in the Salpeggio scale. And as with the universal law of numbers, it rotates and rotates and rotates and rotates and rotates and it rotates like that forever. And it's been there forever. So we will leave us at that. And I urge all people of good conscience and good faith, please understand this false reality that television and the social media uh, oligarchs, uh, monopoly, you know, information gatekeepers hold upon us. It's a fake world. The real world is they're trying to control us and take us down and our human rights in a very serious way. Stop this Israel nonsense. There's no such thing as chosen people. You know, now these Christian Zionists who support like whatever these uh, evangelical uh, guru freak uh, weirdos, but we do understand, just like the ones who gave to the Tammy Faye Bakers and Jim Bakers and uh, Jerry Falwells of the past, they're not our best and our brightest. We don't have to be so concerned about them, okay? But, uh, you know, if you want to live under the, under the rule of the Jeffrey Epsteins and the Mossad world spying on us, uh, you know, 24 hours a day, uh, well, we stand against you. My name is Paul Whittakind, and I'm signing out for today. Peace and happiness to all good people of the world.